it's the Andes. I will treat it as Andes on the left side, actually. Because the sun rises from this side. And the right sided one should be. It is such an. Good morning. My video was completely blocked. I'm now going to play the uh, talk to the Sahaja Yogis, 1984, the 9th of the 18th. And we resume our meditation online. Thank you for being patient. Observe place. And there is also very surprising that every 28 minutes, every 28 minutes, exactly after 28 minutes, it's a very funny place and a lot of sulfur. A lot of sulfur there. Sulfur um, just bubbling out of you find suddenly some from somewhere it's, it's hot water coming out like just pouring out from can you imagine such a place now and is, is another side and is, is a kind that will give tremors earthquakes mm. it will give lots of earthquakes and it has lots of gold also it is a right side lot of gold at all and it will be giving lots of earthquakes then it will come to destruction it will be used as earthquakes. They will, it will act as earthquakes. America is that all portion. It's all Andes from top to bottom. And all that will be shattered by. So these two forces will act <coughs> more at the time of destruction. So one has to be careful about it. Because you see, Bolivia, Sipuru, and all these places, these people went from here. They killed so many of these people. So many of uh, these races were killed completely. Their dead bodies were there. Killing is very bad because when you kill a person, that person cannot take birth and hangs in the air and becomes a brute. So they have overpowered Americans. That's why Americans are like that. So they killed all the people from New York to the whole of America because all people were aboriginal. So they have possessed them also. And in the same way in the South is happening. So it's all, again, though it is right-sided, but supraconscious. All supraconscious. So they have to be very careful now. They have to take to Sajoga. And those will be taken to Sajoga will be only saved. The rest will be destroyed. Because Andes will act as a supraconscious thing for destruction. And Fujiyama and all that will have uh, not, they will have those, uh, what you call the little camps. Mother, I'm terribly sorry, but the tape, we ran out of tape. Would you just explain again the left side, the right side, and the Himalayas? I'm sorry to do this to you. That of what? Just as you de described it just a moment ago, that how the Himalayas is this and the two columns. You see, you think of Himalaya as the central part, the left. Yes. Yes. Saskar. Right. Yeah. Continental. Yeah. And this is the plate of the ecology. Huh? Now the, all the, even this Germanic and this uh, Alps and all that is in the same. And this is the right. On the right and left side, both have. Cassia, Gentia, we have all this on the, so it's all ecology. But on both the sides, we have got Andes, and this side we've got Fujiyama and all this. Out of these two, the left-sided one is the Andes. I will treat it as the Andes as left-sided, actually, because the sun rises from this side. And the right-sided one should be the yeah. Japanese, according to Sahaja Yoga style. But in the thing, if you see that it is right, it is left. Now, what has happened that the right-sided people, like Spanish and all that, went down there and killed so many of these people who were all right-sided too. 
So the whole thing we should call it as right-sided now, the Andes, mm-hmm. as right-sided. Because right-sided people will be punished by right-sided effects and left will be punished by the left-sided effects. So because the right-sided people have gone there and have killed the right-sided people, <coughs> the right-sided people there have overpowered these people. That's why the speed is there and the Americans are, you see, like this, all very violent, all this, because of that. Now all these things put together forms this, the Andes, you see, is there standing, waiting for its chance. And when the things will be horrible, absolutely, there won't be any atomic bomb blast or anything. These themselves will have earthquakes. The earthquake is the quality of Mother Earth. And she will assert through this. And on the right hand side, now we shall take it on the, so, uh, actually it is actually not on the right hand side, but now it's the left hand side. Yes, sir, of these Japanese, what will happen? Because they were made into left hand side. Mm. Because they were given these drugs, opium, this mm. thing, one mm. thing. Mm. So they became left side. Mm. Now these left handed people will be finished with volcanoes. There will be volcanoes, there will be typhoons, they will be finished. And while on this side the people who have been following uh, these all wrong things will be finished with earthquakes. And all these places like you can say the west coast, the west coast of America is very dangerous. Because there were so many atrocities done by America. They cannot get away with it. So themselves they will be finished because they will become lunatics, mad. And apart from that, the Mother Earth itself will finish them part of it. Now on the right hand side, I think the Belkranos will be finished. And the destruction time will be used. But just now as far as now is concerned, we have to see how many people we can bring out. If the number of Sahajogis increases in those areas, then maybe that mother will be pacified. Mm. Uh, in the same that was written in, in the Bible, huh? the same is written in the Bible, huh? when, uh, when uh, God wants to come and, and kill the Sodoma and Gomorrah, and uh, Abraham perhaps has to God, but God, if there is... Ten good people, so what, you, what you, will you do? And God said, okay, I will see you then. And Abraham said, but if there are nine people, good people, and God said, okay, I will see you then. So the guy, and if it's just one g- good people, God said, okay, I will see that town. <laughs> and now, Mava, I will you see? Now we have thousands. Yeah. But in the Bible it's written only how many? One thousand. 144,000. That's all? Madre, <laughs> South America. I you are about reaching that number. I hear 144,000. I does it mean that last judgment and the time of destruction will manifest uh, in this form, earthquake and volcanoes? Of course, that will be there. So many things will happen and people will be killed and destroyed and they will be put to the last thing, they will go to hell. People will be sent to the hell. Means, you see, what will happen on this earth only? People will become mad. They start eating feces, the narka, they will be creating for themselves. Now only the way they are, see, following those means. What else they do? It's narka. And that's how they'll be punished. But those who are described now, 144,000 is a very small number. people that get killed and become goons. Is there never any chance for them? Those who are killed might be, but those who are possessed 
You see, what has happened that those who have killed are deep on again. And some, those who are, have been killing all also be gone. So there stands for such people. But those who are killed are possessing people who kill them. Ah. Why did they kill? They had no business. Yeah. Thou shalt not kill. I mean, after all, if, if you do not follow one rule and regulation of your hopeless government, you are punished. What about God? He said, Thou shalt not kill. And you have killed. So, you should not be punished. I think those that got killed, huh? those that were killed, the victims. They, if they are reborn, they will not. But if they are taking a revenge, then how to save? And they, and they can choose. Huh? They can choose. They can choose. If they want, they should take their birth, get their elevation. But they are trying to become good. The idea of revenge should not be there. Now you see, Indians have only this sense attitude. How much Britishers have tortured Indians, you have no idea. I mean, you, I cannot tell you how much they have done. I can only tell you about my own family, that my father's all houses, everything was taken away. We were living in palaces, we started living in huts. Cars, everything, all ornaments, everything of my mother was taken away. Only we had one big, mother had a big family, old thing called by Gentimala, she would pick me. That's the only thing she had hidden, which she pawned, and on that she educated us. To me, they have beaten, they have given me electric shocks, they put me on the um, ice slabs. No. And lot, I was a young girl of 18, 19 years, you see. So, so many people have tortured me. Oh, they have tortured and tortured me. To such an extent you have no idea. But, and raping and prostitution, everything they did to me. But Indians don't hate English. They don't hate them. The they are very kind. If English go there, you see, some English barristers went to India, and the holiday was given to the High Court. They are so respectful. But when English now, when the Indians, because they misbehaved and they brought so many Indians with them, now they were given British passports and sent as slaves to East Africa to work there. But when East Africa became independent, they had British passports, so they came as British. <laughs> now they are treated as immigrants in England. Think of it. Actually, they have, they have only British passport, they have no other passport. And 80% of Indians are like 10% are students and 10 may be coming Pakistanis. This time. Can you imagine? I see the condition of Indians in England, the way the English feel about them. So, naturally, one would feel very embittered with them, isn't it? But I have never seen any Indian criticizing English people. My husband will say it's Indian who are responsible. They behave in such a manner. Now, they wash their clothes, they hang them outside, this, that. He will always blame the Indians. They don't know how to eat on a table, they use their hands, this, that. Indians. Mm. Not embittered at all. They are the only people who are really forgiven. There's no embitterment. And you know, in India, it's a law, unwritten law. I was in the sense of that no film can be made against the English. Nothing. No film is made about our freedom, independence, or about Gandhi. This is an Englishman who made it. Yeah, that's true. Um, we are not allowed to do that. But in Africa, it's on the television, huh? there was a big series, very popular series, showing how awful the British had been to the Indians, which was on in England. They always try to give us the Indians, but why not, yeah? So everybody's horrified about it. Like that, you yeah, see? Everybody's horrified because we don't know. We just read it in books. We don't know until you see it. What is the name of series? It's called um, 
The Jewel in the Crown. Huh? It's called The Jewel in the Crown. Mm -hmm. It's about the last days of the British Raj. And it's horrible. You can't I mean, what do they show there? They show bestiality, they show absolute cruelty, beating some boy with a stick and accusing him of raping a girl which he never did. Oh, English? English, yes. They did? It shows, it shows the English in a very bad light. Very bad. And it's I one of the prizes now. I really watched it. Good. It's being at least exposed. Mm. Somebody must have talked about it. Yes. When we watched the film of Gandhi in, in Delhi, when you took us to see that movie, at half time, everybody walked out, but the, about 40 of the British Sahad Yogis were just absolutely like stunned mullets. They couldn't move. <laughs> that is nothing. They have shown nothing no. compared to what people have shown. This, this series is much more brutal than that. Mm. Mm. People watched it was so horrible. I heard about it. Horrible. And you see, now I have, they were saying there were no arches or bridges. Now, British must have removed everything that was there. They never respected anything. Even now they have no respect for our culture, for our music, for anything. They haven't got brains to understand. <clears throat> in such ego. <clears throat> Sri Mataji, you were saying this afternoon that a lot of the culture and history and architecture and so on of India predates so much a lot of the West. Much. I mean, I told them that these people say that taught us all this thing. But we have not seen, but in India we have something called Ajanta Caves made in the caves. Caves means like palace, huge. And one stone, huge, for miles, like that. I said, if we have learned from the Greeks, why don't the Greeks have something like that? They don't have anything. But the kind of art we have in our country, you don't find it anywhere in the whole world, I think. I mean, this now I said it, of course, Greek thing is doing. But it's built from down upwards, isn't it? That one, that one. Yeah, yeah. There, it is the cave, you see, from top down, in 10th centuries. 10th century. Excuse me, Nava. Do you want to take the slate for mm. all the people that doesn't understand? Hmm? No, Do you want to take the slate? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just read. Madre, Madre ha spiegato che nella cultura uh, occidentale non abbiamo mai capito la vera anima della cultura orientale e gli inglesi con il loro forte ego hanno sempre detto che i greci, i romani, gli inglesi hanno sempre dato tutto all'India e che l'India non ha mai fatto nulla di suo mentre Scimataggi ha ben spiegato come dei posti così meravigliosi come sono le case viaggianti in India sono dei posti così meravigliosi, così fantastici che non hanno niente a che fare con tutta la cultura greca né, né, né inglese per cui sono autenticamente indiani non vengono da, da nessun'altra parte e mentre noi costruiamo le case dalle fondamenta e saliamo verso l'alto invece le cavi da gianta cominciano a scavare dall'alto e scendono verso il basso quindi sono scavate scendendo verso il basso a incontrare di quello che noi facciamo all the engineering o everything had to be calculated from uh, she said she said that what do you explain today is that uh, we, we started from the roof hmm. and then we go down. Uh -huh. Not like, like you were explaining today to this fellow. You, you explained to, to Patti and Carlo today that we start from the roof and we go down, not mm -hmm. from the fundamentals, we go up. Mm -hmm. It's just the same. It's a India style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very clever. Mm -hmm. Io volevo sentire cosa pensa madre. Eh, per me la massoneria eh, mi ha Scusa, liberato... Scusami, ma te stava parlando delle cavi di agente, stava spiegando sì, la gente. No, ma è importante che lei ti faccia il discorso, dopo si mangia la domanda. Ma non ti asso sanzi. Ah, 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 Uh, ask some questions about masonry, but he was talking about the janta, and perhaps it's better. I said that you finish up. You finish your, your, uh, your, uh, your that. talk. So. No, I'm just saying that the Indians, you see, have got something about them. 
that they are very fragile. There is no bitterness, no fragment. They don't carry bitterness in their mind. And secondly, they are very anonymous. They will never find name written in any painting, anything. You will never find an Indian writing the name or anything. This is all modern. Of course, modern people, you, they are Western. But even now, you go anywhere and ask them who has done it. Say, somebody, somebody, some must have done it. Very anonymous people. And that is only because it's, it's a very spiritual country. The whole tradition is of spirituality. That's why people are very spiritual. They are not so materially equipped because they never paid much attention to material advancement, you know. And, and perhaps, Nava, they, I, I, I wrote the Kumasvari. Kumasvari is the greatest uh, Indian critics. And now everybody accepts him as a master in Indian uh, art. It is a very, I, I read all his book and he's a very excellent man, I think. Perhaps he's also realized, I don't know. What's his name? I'll leave the talk there and post online this video, which was from 1984 in September, on September the 18th. Talk to Sahaj Yogis. time of destruction. Thank you. Now I'm going to try and put on some music and um, because I was having some ad break blocks happening uh, in the earlier part of today's meditation session, I'll put it on and if it goes ahead and plays, fine. If it doesn't, Please finish up in your own good time this meditation this morning. Raise your Kundalini, put on a bandhan, and give thanks to Sri Mataji by bowing down to her when you're ready. Jai Sri Mataji. for Muladhara. goes for about 10 minutes. Just another two.
I'll finish up there as I've just got an at breaks disabled. They do not like this music. Jason Madaji, have a good day.